student to uh, yet another unit for BK in standard 6. Last time, if you can remember, we started looking at the unit 1. In the unit 1, we are looking at the miracles, the miracles that uh, God performed to the Israelites as they came out of Egypt in the wilderness, starting from the crossing of the Red Sea. Then he gave them manna, he gave them uh, the quails, he also gave them water. So remember all those things and how uh, those miracles were done. But today we have yet another good, good uh, unit where we are going to discuss about the uh, uh, Jesus teachings through the miracles. So we are also going to look at the miracles again, uh, but these miracles that were performed by Jesus himself. So let's be together uh, until the end of this uh, unit. So we know Jesus taught through miracles in many ways. Jesus taught through miracles. So what were the miracles that Jesus performed? Now, to begin with, we are going to define a miracle. A miracle, a miracle, when we talk of a miracle, it is an unnatural act of or event caused by God. A miracle is an unnatural act or event caused by God. Now, we are talking of unnatural unnatural that is there are things that are uh, we observe in nature they are natural but this one is unnatural it is something like opposing an opposite of natural things so what were those extraordinary things that are uh, that uh, that were done by jesus but these are natural things basically they are caused by god so again what is a miracle it is an unnatural act or event caused by God. So it is only God who causes that miracle. Now, why? Why did Jesus perform miracle? So we are going to look at the reasons why Jesus performed miracles. Number one, Jesus performed miracles out of sympathy, out of sympathy or mercy out of sympathy or mercy. What do we mean? What we mean there, Jesus felt pity of someone to say, ah, oh, this one uh, is maybe troubled, let me help him. So Jesus would perform miracles out of mercy. He was feeling mercy. He was so merciful to someone. Then he performed miracles. Again, Jesus performed miracles out of request. Sometimes Jesus, when he was moving from place to place, he was also sometimes invited to say, Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus, please help us. So uh, when people requested him, then he was uh, performing the miracles. And also, Jesus performed the miracles as a means of spreading uh, God's, uh, God's message to the world so we see jesus was spreading god's message to the world to show that god is powerful god can perform things extraordinary things then uh, jesus would perform miracles now let us look at some of the uh, some of the uh, miracles that were performed by jesus number one it is the the healing of the uh, Jerusalem uh, demoniac, a demoniac at Jerusalem, a place known as Jerusalem. There was someone, a demoniac, a demoniac there, someone who was possessed by the demons. So uh, when we read in Luke chapter 8, verse 26 up to verse 29, we see that one. We see that Jesus healed a demoniac, someone who was possessed by the evil spirits. Now, what happened there was that Jesus drove out demons out of uh, the Jerusalem demoniac. Uh, so he drove out uh, the uh, demons out of that man. We have that one when we read only uh, Luke chapter 8, verse uh, 26 to verse 29. In, on those verses, uh, you read those verses. Uh, 
uh, you see that Jesus, uh, he healed, he drove out the demons from that person. By healing the demoniac, who was a Gentile, Jesus wanted to show that his mission on earth was for both Jews and Gentiles. So we are saying that by healing the demoniac, by healing that person uh, who was a Gentile, he was not a Jew, that person was not a Jew. So Jesus, by healing that person, a Gentile, then Jesus wanted to show that his mission on earth was for both Jews and Gentiles. So here we see that his mission now to the world, Jesus wanted uh, to meet the Gentiles, those who are not Jews, and the Jews as well. So his instructions to the healed man was a means to spread the message to the Gentile land. So we see when that man was healed, Jesus told him that now uh, you go, don't follow me, go to your own people. So Jesus wanted to say, all right, when the people of his village would see him in a proper mind, then uh, people would say, yes, God is powerful. So Jesus uh, gave the instructions to say, all right, when you uh, don't follow me, because that person, he said, now Jesus, I'll follow you after he got healed then jesus said no 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 no! don't follow me don't follow me go to your own people uh and tell them what has been let them see you uh what has been done to you so we see to it that those were the instructions given to that person so this miracle showed jesus power over demons who are forces of evil so when we talk of demons they are the forces of evil. They are the powers of the darkness, the evil spirits. So he drove them out, which means that by driving out from that man, Jesus showed that he has power over the evil spirits or over the demons. So he showed uh, that one. So now let us watch this, uh, this, uh, this movie or this clip. I have a video, a small video of uh, that illustrates what happened to this person or how Jesus healed this man. And they sailed on over to Gadara, which is across the lake from Galilee. your name Legion Lord we beg you do not send us into the abyss let us enter into the herd of swine <laughs> <laughs> hey! Come back! Stop! Stop! And the demons went out of the man and into the pigs. Follow you wherever you go. Let me come with you. Go back home and tell what God has done for you. Next, the next miracle that was uh, performed by Jesus was uh, this one: the feeding, uh, feeding the five thousand people. 
So on Luke chapter 9, verse 10 to verse 17, when we read those verses, we we'll see that Jesus uh, fed 5,000 people. So many people followed Jesus to a lonely place. So Jesus went out to a lonely place to be alone with his disciples. And there were 5,000 people there who followed him later. So when he went there, other people also followed him to hear because he was a good teacher. When he started speaking, people just wanted to listen, to listen to him. Then they followed him to a lonely place. A lonely place means that it was outside the village, outside the town, no no grocery, no, no shop there. Then it was like in the bush, inside the bush there. So those 5,000 people, they followed him. So Jesus and his disciples uh, had five loaves of bread and two fish. So there then, they, uh, it was found that it was growing dark and the people were hungry. Now they wanted to eat something. So when the disciples said that Jesus sent these people away, so it was found that only five loaves were there and uh, two fish were there of all that group. Of all that group, only five loaves and two fish. So Jesus prayed to God and uh, the food multiplied. So what happened there? Jesus prayed to God and that food, the two fish multiplied. The five loaves of bread also multiplied. So he broke the food into pieces and gave it to the people. So the people, they ate, they ate the bread that was multiplied after Jesus prayed to God. So they ate and they were fully satisfied. So all of them ate and were fully satisfied. That is a miracle. That is a natural act only done by God. It is a miracle. So there were 12 baskets of leftovers. So look at it now. Uh, the miracle again happening that after all people ate, then uh, re what remained there were five loaves, the f uh, were 12 baskets of leftovers. So they filled, they collected all that remained, all what remained there. They collected it and they put into baskets and they, it was found that 12 baskets were uh, there they remained as the leftovers. So Jesus performed this miracle out of mercy for the people. So we see again that Jesus felt pity for the people to say they are out far away in the jungle uh, where they cannot find food just immediately. Then he felt he was uh, so sympathetic. He, if he was so merciful to them to say, no, let them eat. So he performed this miracle out of mercy. So the 5,000 people who came to hear the God, uh, God's word praised him even more after being fed using the little food. So we are saying these 5,000 people who came to hear God's word praised him even more after being fed using the little food. So the 5,000 people, those 5,000 people, they were so grateful to Jesus and they praised him to say, yes, this is really uh, some, an extraordinary person after uh, he performed that miracle. So they praised him high. Therefore, Jesus uh, provided them with both spiritual and physical needs. So we see here, people followed him to hear the word that is spiritual food and also they, have, uh, they got hungry and he gave them the physical food or the physical need so we see that jesus was able to give people the spiritual food as well as the physical food so we see it in that way let us also watch another uh, another video here that uh, will also illustrate how jesus fed the five thousand people
master. Send the people away, so that then they can go to the villages and farms around here and find food and lodging. This is a lonely place. You yourselves give them something to eat. But all we have are five loaves and two fish. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth bread from the earth. The third miracle now is the healing of Bartimaeus' eyes. Bartimaeus was a blind man. We find this story on Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. So get the Bible, read that passage, understand that passage, how, uh, how Bartimaeus was healed. So it was in Jericho, so Jesus healed the eyes of Bartimaeus out of request. So Jesus was passing, was passing. So uh, the blind beggars were sitting along the way begging to say, All right, those who pass by, they should give them something. Then this Bartimaeus, after he heard the strong voice, he pulled out one person to say, All right, you tell me what is happening here. Then that person said, it is Jesus of Nazareth who is passing. Then that Bartimaeus started shouting, Jesus, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. So it was upon request. So Jesus performed this miracle upon request. So Jesus stopped and he healed Bartimaeus out of his blindness and he was able to see again. Let us watch another, another clip here. Another video, a good video that shows Batmias how he was held by Jesus himself. He's passing by. Oh. <laughs> Jesus! Oh. Jesus! <laughs> Son of David, have mercy on me! What do you want me to do for you? I want to see again. Then see. Your faith has made you well. I can see. I can see. I can see. Now, I hope we have enjoyed this lesson. Now, here is an exercise. Uh, the first question, what is a miracle? What is a miracle? And the second one, give two reasons why Jesus performed miracles. The third one, 
explain how Jesus performed the following miracles, feeding the 5,000 people according to Luke chapter 9, verse 10 to 17. And how did he heal uh, Bartimaeus' uh, eyes according to Mark chapter, 40, chapter 10, verse 46 to 52? How did Jesus heal uh, this uh, Bartimaeus? And how did he uh, feed the 5,000? So write something uh, of what you know what happened uh, on these miracles. So I hope we have uh, enjoyed that lesson. And uh, this has been the lesson where we are looking at Jesus, uh, the miracles performed by Jesus. We have looked at the three miracles, how Jesus uh, fed the 5,000 people. Uh, we have looked at Jesus, how uh, he healed the, the, the blind man, the blind man that is uh, Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus. So, and also how Jesus healed that demoniac, that demoniac in Jerusalem, that one. And it has been a wonderful lesson. So next time we are continuing again. So next time we'll be looking at unit three, the causes and effects of conflict in the family. You know, sometimes there is conflict in the family. What are the causes? What are the causes of that uh, conflict in the family? And what are the effects, the consequences when there is a conflict in the family? What are the results? So we are going to look at that one. So be there in Unit 3 as we continue with this BK. Until next time, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.